Hey everyone, it is me, Canute here, and today I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can make your own NFT collection. Now, this video is gonna allow you to sell your own NFTs, just as I did right here. So go ahead and take out your notes and listen closely because we're about to create your first NFT. But before I get too far, please give this video a thumbs up if you happen to learn anything from it. And without further ado, let me jump in. So before we get too far, the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is create your MetaMask account. If you don't have a MetaMask account yet, this is gonna be your crypto wallet and it sort of acts like coinbase if you've already used that before except it's a little bit more advanced and allows you to do a lot more things so hopefully that kind of simplifies everything for you so you're gonna to want to google search metamask and then go to metamask and create your first account so here we have the option to download now so we're gonna go download now install metamask for chrome add to chrome add extension all right so now we're gonna get started so if you already have a metamask account this is where you would use this and if you do not, um, this is where you're gonna create a new wallet. So hit agree. And you're gonna wanna quickly create a password. All right, once you've created your password, there's a little video here where you can go through to kind of understand things further. Highly recommend if this is your first MetaMask account to watch this video and uh, learn what you need to do. Then you're gonna wanna make sure your secret recovery phrase is in a good spot, um, a safe spot, I should say. Um, and you don't wanna share this with anybody. You don't wanna store it anywhere. Um, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have it uh, printed out on paper probably and then tucked away in a drawer. There's a lot of other ways to secure your account, but this is definitely um, something to just be aware of. All right, once you've set up your account and confirmed all your secret recovery phrase things, you should be good to go. So once you get brought over to OpenSea.io, this is the current NFT platform that is kind of the most reputable. It's kind of the, the flagship one out there. There's a lot of other NFT platforms you can definitely use. Personally, I just like using OpenSea. It's simple and uh, it's very familiar to a lot of people. All right, once you're into OpenSea, go ahead and link your wallet right here. Go to Connect Wallet, MetaMask, there's going to be a little pop-up when you do that action, um, but just go ahead and sign it and you should be good to go. From here, you're gonna to go to My Profile, click on My Profile, go to My Collections, and you can create your collection. All right, so then here you have the option of doing all your different logo images and everything that you're gonna to need to be good to go from there. So go ahead and fill all this out with any information you want to have. And one of the most important things I'll say is you're gonna to wanna to have to choose between your Polygon and Ethereum networks. Um, Polygon is a little less utilized, but it's definitely very good. So if you want to use uh, Polygon, which is a gas-free um, network, that would definitely be great for you. You could either choose between uh, Ethereum or wrapped Ethereum. Um, definitely look into those if you're curious about how they work. Um, but uh, this is definitely one of those things that you can use right here. Now, one quick thing I wanted to mention and touch on that's huge for you is just to make sure to set a royalty that you feel like is fair. Um, a lot of times people set at 2.5, so that kind of makes it an even 5% when you include the open C fee. There is definitely higher uh, royalties. I believe you can go up to 10%. But just make sure you enter in a royalty that you feel like is good for your collection um, and then you'll want to put in a wallet address so you could actually take your same wallet address from your metamask so you'll just take this wallet address copy it and head on back over to your uh, payout wallet address and when somebody actually buys or sells your um, nft in the future you will receive five percent of that sale so hey if you ever get 20 ETH sometime in volume um, for your collection that's going to be huge for you because you will just made five percent of that which is really really cool so go ahead and uh, make sure that you you do that and uh, just fill out all the rest of these fields and you should be good to go all right so now that you have your collection set up you're going to go here to my collections and you're going to click on the collection once you go here you're just going to simply add item once you go on over here you're going to click on create new item and you're just going to go here and select the item you want to add. I did switch out the image on you really quick, but here is the image that I want to add on there. And this is where you're going to be able to put in what you want to call your image. So um, for me, I'm doing kind of a numerical order. So mine is going to be uh, Cactus Serenity number. And then the next one is number 65. So you can go ahead and add that in there. Um, external link, you don't really need to worry about that unless you want um, more people to learn other things about it. Um, you could probably just ignore that if you're just keeping it simple. Add your description if you'd like to, um, not a huge deal. Now all this stuff um, you can look into further as well. Properties, levels, there's a whole lot of different things that you can add um, to the data on here uh, if you'd like before you mint it. Um, and then you should be pretty much good to go. So. Um, I've chosen again the Ethereum blockchain, so you can definitely use that. 
And once you are ready to go, you can go ahead and click create. So now you've created your first NFT. If I helped you get here, by the way, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It would be so huge if you could do that. Um, and now we're gonna actually sell that NFT. So how do we sell it? Um, so go ahead and hit here to sell once you've listed it. And you're gonna enter in 0. whatever the minimum is probably. Now 0 0.03 is the minimum right now. It, but you can do, there's other ways you, if you'd like to um, actually get a lower price than that. Um, but for right now, we'll just use 0 0.03. Of course, set your price to whatever you think it's worth. For me, I'm just doing the minimum. I believe it's best to get as many different unique holders as possible, so I don't want price to be an issue um, for people. Um, now, if you are doing very limited collection, um, I think that the price is definitely subjective to what your audience is, um, so go ahead and keep that in mind. So once you're ready to list it, hit complete listing, and then this will pop up here. You can hit sign, and now you can share it all across Twitter, uh, Facebook or wherever you would like to be. So as far as next steps go, go ahead and add in as many as you'd like into your collection. You can keep this to 10, you can keep this to one, you can keep it to a thousand, whatever you'd like. Um, but go ahead and enter those in. And once they're in there, they're in there forever. Um, and you'll be able to sell them as you wish. And this is just kind of a brief overview of my collection, Cactus Serenity on OpenSea, um, if you're interested. And uh, basically, you'll be able to sell these here. So what I would do from here is basically take this uh, link that you have here, um, which is going to be your collection link so that everybody can see it. Um, and you're going to want to try to gain some traction on social media. So what I definitely recommend doing is going on Twitter and uh, reaching out to people who are looking to buy NFTs or collect them and just really try to, to show off your collection. So definitely try to reach as many people as you can. Uh, Instagram is another good social media for NFTs just because it's picture based, so why not? And this also can be done with different types of media as well. You might've seen the option to upload um, different types of uh, file formats. So definitely it's not limited to pictures. Um, and the last thing I wanted to mention is that there is so many other ways to create your NFT. Um, this is just again the simplest way uh, to create them and it's definitely maybe not the best way um, but it is the easiest simplest uh, and it's solid I mean it works so if you're interested in different strategies about how to launch your NFT um, go ahead and subscribe because I might be coming up with some videos on that later on um, and just kind of comparing other ways uh, to be able to mint and uh, basically uh, launch your NFT project so anyways guys I hope you did learn something if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did not give it a thumbs down and tell me what you didn't learn uh, and tell me how I can help uh, i'd love to help you and subscribe for more videos and crypto updates have a good one everyone and see you next time